Hey everybody, Fox with the Comics, and I'm back. This time, I got a nice little package from my buddy Steve for Family 54 Comics. If you want to see what's inside the package, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so I'm back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I put out some new content, you'll get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, I ended up getting a package from my buddy Steve, Burke Family 54 Comics. He's probably like, what the hell, Dave? Why haven't you unboxed this yet? I gave it to you like two weeks ago. What have you been doing? I'm like, sorry, man. Been very busy. Just have not had the time to record, like usual. So uh, this is going to be a fairly quick recording. It's just a small package. He, uh, we messaged back and forth on uh, IG. There was a book I was looking for. LCS is near me. When I got to it, the book was already gone before I even had the opportunity. So uh, his, shop, his shop, luckily, had some copies, and he was able to snag me one. And um, I'm in his uh, on his channel's uh, you know membership on Birth Family 54 Comics. If you haven't already, check that out. Join the channel. It's a great chat. A lot of cool community members on there. We have a blast. And uh, he ended up giving me this book. So uh, it's nothing crazy. Like I say, it was just a book that I've been thoroughly enjoying the stories. And um, I just have not had the chance to find a copy. And I just don't want to pay eBay prices, you know what I'm saying? So uh, I know the book he threw in, I'm sure. But it looks like he, <laughs> he put in a few other books in here too, which I was not expecting. He did not have to do that. It says on here, giveaway books. Cool. Um, so... It's always a fun surprise to see stuff like that on here. Got some pull tabs, which is always very appreciated. And uh, as you can see here, I'm wearing a Nick's Kicks and Comics t-shirt as well. He's also in the chat group as well. Really good community member. We have a lot, like I said, a lot of great community members in his chat group for, uh, for Steve's channel. So if you do have a chance, do check it out. It's a great time. It does do lots of great giveaways. Highly recommend it. Uh, so I'm going to show you the books. Let's uh, there we go. All right. So I'm going to show you the books before I see it. Like I said, I do know one of the books. The other books that are in here, I have no idea. And there's about looks like four, three or three or four books. So, uh, as soon as I get this painter's tape off, I can show you what they are. Alright. do love the painter's tape, but sometimes it can be a bit of a drawback when you're trying to get all these books off. Alright. I'm going to have a sip of, sip of beer, because this is a bit, a bit of a work right here. Alright, so first book. Boom! This is the book right here I was talking about that I knew was going to be in the uh, AOK. It says Nice House on the Lake. Uh, issue number one, third printing. And this has a cool distress cover on here. Like I said, I was not able to pick this book up when it came out uh, for New Comic Book Day. Or even when the, you know, the first printing came out, I was not able to pick up a copy because they were snagged everywhere. And I think these books are... The first prints are going for like 20, 30 bucks now. So I was like, I don't want to pay that. But I was just happy to get get a copy finally because it's a great read. And I can't wait to see where it's going forward. I was recently able to pick up a second print as well. So that was pretty neat. So that was the book. Next. There we got. Oh, nice. Incredible Hulk issue number 43. And this is my uh, second copy. I think this has to do with 
a controversial, I don't know, slur or something like that that was in the issue. And that, you know, because that was all, like, became a hot book for whatever for that short time. But I don't care about that. Immortal Hook is a great story. It's I'm sad to see that it's actually ending when the last issue comes out. But great book. And uh, the last book. What we got? Walking Dead. Uh, issue number one, Granite City Comics, St. Cloud, Minnesota. Exclusive, limited to 500. Really cool. This is, of course, a cover swipe to Walking Dead issue number one. If you're not familiar with the series, that is really cool. And it's uh, pretty funny because you can see on here, he's like walking over uh, some other comic books. As you can see here near my finger, there's Oblivion Song, which is actually a hot book right now. Uh, you got here near my other finger, you got Invincible, which is another great, great series. And uh, a few other ones here that he's stepping on. Really cool. I like this. This is a nice little uh, cover swipe. Well, like I said, those are the three books. Thanks, Steve, for uh, sending me that A-OK. -okay. You did not have to do that. Um, you know, I was just looking forward to that, you know, issue number uh, one, which I'm very grateful to finally have in the PC. So if you like that, please hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what you guys think. And until next time, Mark with the Comics. Out.